this is Dr. Dixon and sometimes you may need to have your pigments freshly sterilized whether you're in an operating room or perhaps you're working on a patient whose immune system is compromised as in a cancer patient. Okay so all you need is this. You need your color source pigment and this happens to be Dream Brow, it could be Java, um, it could be any of our 150 colors. So you need your bottle of pigment and you need your little um, tube. This is, these are used for to spin down samples in the laboratory and you can fill your tube, shake your pigment really well in an automatic pigment shaker and put it put it in your tube, okay? That's plenty. Okay. Our pigments are very concentrated. Snap this shut. Now we know that this is Dream New Brown. So I'm going to write that. I'm going to fill in the information here. So take the information off of your bottle. So this is Today's date is March 9th, 2016. It's Dream New Brown. And that is number 45. And it's batch number 3779. Batch number 3779. Okay, so here's your a sterilization pouch. This is called a sterilization pouch. Take your pigment and uh, if you need to, to label this too, you can put a label on it. Slip it in your pouch. Shake it down and seal it shut. Okay. Now, I'm going to show you how we take it to the autoclave and uh, put it in there. When you gas sterilize something, vapor, or whether you, or whether you um, steam sterilize, autoclave it, here are your indicators that will change colors. This has already been sterilized. And this one, let's take into the autoclave. Okay, here is your pouch with your pigment to be sterilized. You can make as many of these as you wish, but you, you just need to seal the pouch with the name, the product number, the date, and the batch number, okay? Now, I've already, I'm gonna take off the lid to the autoclave. I'm checking inside. There is water, okay, so I'm going to just put our pouch in here and put on the top of the autoclave. There you go. Just twist that shut and down here your autoclave is on and all you had to do is press that button and the, it, it will start to build temperature and pressure. This particular Prestige Classic 2100 I've had for many many years and it's a workhorse. I have it tested every three months for what's called a spore testing to make sure that that everything is getting killed. Not only bacteria and viruses but spores. Those are the hardest tough walled things to heal. So for right now let's come back in about 20 minutes when it's done and we'll check it out. Okay, here we are. We're at the done uh, point in our autoclave cycle. So it has beeped us and now I'm going to release the steam before I try to take off the cover. 
Okay, we're at the end of our autoclave cycle and we're going to take um, our sterilized pigment out of the autoclave. We're going to open up the autoclave. We've already let the steam off and we're going to take out our pouch with our pigment. You can see the arrows are dark, nice and dark, which indicates that it has been sterilized. And now you can take this into the operating room. So if you ever need a sterilized pigment, you're in a hospital environment, you need to even have sterilized instruments, hand tools, single use, you know how to sterilize your pigments. Aloha and mahalo, Dr. Dixon, thank you.